Okay, today is the uh, 3rd of August. Just do a little quick update video on the apple trees we planted. This here is a Hughes crab, also known as Virginia crab. Uh, this is all just one season of growth. I cut about two feet off the top for a summer pruning to try and control the height and uh, concentrate possible more fruit buds towards the center. It's done pretty well. It's a little something there. And over here is a wine sap. Since we planted it, it hasn't really grown much. We just got two leaves out of here. It just gave us these two leaves and that was it. Now some of the, the buds on there, they're, they're active, but no real growth. I think that might be due to it being planted late in the season. It was planted about two months later, so it's not exactly the best time, but we got that one 50% off. So it's a $12 tree. Over here is the M7 Harrison. Uh, we're going to grow this one as a central leader. So it's, it's growing really well. No fertilizer or anything, this is all just the tree in the ground. It's still still trying to grow. So I'm gonna leave these bottom three as my bottom rung. And I have another tier starting here. Maybe about a foot, 12, 14 inches up. And then about another foot we have another rung right here started. I don't know if you can see it. There's a praying mantis on that post. He's guarding our tree, making sure it stays healthy. Or she, actually, it looks like a female. And we have had aphids and uh, candy striped leaf hoppers on here. On all of our trees we had to spray them just lightly with a little pump bottle hand pump bottle about every 10 days or so this is a uh, another Harrison uh, now I went ahead and I had two other branches on here I, I cut this one here out to give it some room and then there was another one right here. We cut that out to give it some more room so it wouldn't interfere with this one or the other two. Now next year I'll probably pick one and cut another one out. I haven't decided which one yet. It's looking like it might be this one. I might take this one out. I'm not sure though. So, that's done pretty well too, and it is a G11 rootstock, I don't know if you can see that. So we're going to, we did another pruning, I did a summer pruning on here, also cut about a foot and a half to two foot off of it, just to bring it down and concentrate the growth closer to the trunk and it's wanting to grow back up more already another another shoot trying to start out so then over here we have our last cider tree and it's a golden russet same thing it's been growing well no nutrients fed to it 
Uh, I think I watered it first planting and we were fortunate enough to get enough rain in Indiana that it just didn't need that much watering. I think I watered it maybe twice all, all year. So uh, nature was on our side this year. And this golden russet is a uh, G41. And uh, I'm thinking about keeping all five of these limbs at the moment. This one here is a little lower than I'd like, but we'll let it ride and see how it goes. This one grew really well. I had to cut almost two and a half feet from the top. It was, it was way up there. I put this wire in trying to draw it over, but you see it. It just, I pulled it over and it still wants to grow to the left. I put a little crook in it. So it's chasing that sun. I'll probably put a spreader stick in between here and here and spread them out a little bit more. So, I don't know if I can pull this one down anymore. Open it up. But this one's going to be an open center. The Harrison down there is going to be open center. We'll have a central leader. Um, the wine sap across the way, that's going to be a central leader. That's a semi dwarf. And the crab over there, the huge crab, that's going to be a, a uh, open center. And while we're looking at it, the corn is done. The watermelon's done. Our cucumbers are petering out. I'm done collecting them. We have all we need. Same with the tomatoes, we had all we need. The cabbage was good. So all we have left are some peppers hanging around. This one here grew in a curl. Still getting, still getting more. Trying to go. The hops did okay. They they weren't as strong because they transplanted this year. So next year they'd probably be stronger. But we're looking at moving this and expanding more garden space. We have some pumpkins growing there. They have some powdery mildew growth on them. I sprayed them once already. Get a little pumpkin there. Another one here. And then last we have our grapes. This one here got chewed by a little rabbit or something. It decided to come back on its own. So I believe that's a Niagara. So we'll have a Niagara, two Concords, and another Niagara in the middle. Well that's it. Thanks for watching.